All right, and welcome back. We were just analyzing the potential of this city. Looks like we can get to up to about 200 production here, um, which is pretty typical for, for a space race, in my opinion. Um, rip late Zimbabwe. Yeah, that didn't happen. Let's go ahead and re-up our friendships. Hey, what's up, Eminem? How you doing, buddy? We'll up our friendship. Um, what did we want to do? I don't remember now. I know I want to spend this on uh, Amani. All right, so we should have Stockholm to ourselves here in a second. Oh, we do. So now we have 20 envoys there. So that's no longer a concern, which is good. Which is good. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Um... No more amenities from our garrison units, which is sad. This will be fine for now. I could put in uh, I could put in some some housing stuff to help them grow. That might be better, but we're 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 right around the corner. Um, and like I said, I think we are going to have to run democracy uh, simply for the production and housing per district. Then I don't have to worry about it. I don't. I wouldn't even really have to run New Deal unless I wanted to. Point six production. Maybe maybe we get maybe we go unlock New Deal, run New Deal, but then switch into communism. Cause one production and housing per district or 0.6 production per citizen and 15% base. I actually think we want to do that. So we we wanna we, we actually want to go for communism, run that as our main government. And then switch and then have or unless policy wise. I haven't I haven't played with communism since the spring update. <laughs> watching and lurking and join the grade a gameplay what stream have you been watching <laughs> I, I i second that question i second that question um i actually think communism's better although we'll miss out on the policies it's weird so three we're gonna have four Four military policies. This is the same. We basically miss out on a diplomatic, which we were, we were using for production and growth in our uh, Rear Valley City. And then a wild card, which could give us more production as well. I, I think it's still democracy. I hate to say it. I think I think the way, especially with Germany, since we already have an extra military slot, it's going to be too redundant. It's going to be too redundant. We're going to go democracy. Democratic Germany. Wow. Just gonna throw it like that, huh? Rude. Here comes the war then. So turn two oh five, we're gonna get declared on maybe. Actions speak louder than words. Claim great person. Sure, we'll grab this guy. Yep, I definitely don't want Mary Leaky. Mains. Time to start running research grants. Do I have an army? Um, we 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 held off actually like four wars, uh, two two each from uh, Wilhelmina and uh, Mavemba. So we have some promoted like crossbows and stuff. I cored all them up. Um, so we don't have much of an army. Um, I did build a couple AT crews, but I'm not super worried about it because we can get we have mechanized infantry now. This is what we want, mostly, uh, except not from there. We want them from here. Hey, Stefanos, how you doing, buddy? Hello, hello. Pretty good walls and encampment barrier. Yeah, we needed those early. We, we got pretty early walls. Um, he was actually at my capital door, like bruised uh, cruise pass here, and uh, it was kind of kind of rude. I don't need that at all. Sure. I can grab this. Unless I need the era score. Uh, where are we getting four era score from? I shouldn't have traded my coal. 
How are we getting four era score in the next eight turns? Could build an arrow dome. Four turn arrow dome. Three turn arrow dome. That seems good. What did I do? I got this wonder with the end. Oh, this engineer we haven't done anything with. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know what to grab. I don't really need that stuff. Yeah, I think we could pass this comfortably. Appeal on tiles. Boo! Not the game for that. percent production towards wonders doesn't really matter I would like this suzerain trigger the Eureka for steel if we get our second coal back we could get an ironclad and get that get that Eureka let's do that I come by road or rail, but economists travel on infrastructure. 524 science per turn. It's pretty good. Earth satellite will be some era score as well. Yeah, I think we can very comfortably go into a golden age here. This never gets boosted, unfortunately, and this will help our farms, actually. So let's go there. How many arrows? I think it's two for the aerodome itself. If if we're the world first, I think it's two, and then we can get some. We can just buy a plane if we want to. And that'll that'll get us the rest of the way. But this will be arrow score two. So in in two turns, we're gonna get a bunch of arrow score from these it two things. Demonstrated that no system. Yeah, we have six turns to do it. We'll be fine. We will be fine. Uh, okay, I lied. I, 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 we want to go here. We want to go here. Which means we do have four turns to build this. I think that should be our last sewer. If I just build that. I'll save my money. Otherwise, I'd buy him a research lab. Put all of our trade routes in Roar City. Um, yeah, money. Money. <laughs> Imagine being able to say that casually in real life. Meh, we can just buy a plane if we need to. <laughs> Wait, you mean you can't? Yes, two times run. Uh, more for the hangar and airport as well, I believe. So, boom, boom. Should get us, I think, to 140. Do paper planes count? <laughs> of course they do. Of course they do. All right, into space. Ah, and there's there's more era score as well. Admiration to the once desired Matterhorn before his head has lost the last rays of a sun departing to gild loftier and more distant ranges. I love it. Many of us take better care of our automobiles than we do of our own bodies. Yet the auto has replaceable parts. Yep, so we actually went over with discovering the wonder. So it was two for it was two for the aerodome and two for the Oh, it's actually four for this. The aerodome itself wasn't? Wait, what? Really? 
Maybe it's just the buildings and the uh, planes then? Well, now we have some for later. Because that was actually four era score for, uh, for the satellite and then one for Matterhorn. Are they useful in multiplayer? No. Planes play... I, 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 I agree, Sean. Sean says, uh, hate, hate that airplanes in this game are only built for era score and never use them for actual war. Yeah. You really have to go out of your way to make them work, unfortunately. All right. Now I can kind of see going towards this. Eight policy slots. We should get that. We could time it out. Three privateers I'm not going to worry about. Although it's a fair amount of science. It says 1,500 science. So we can get 750 science for a few hundred gold, or a few thousand gold. That might be worth it. I think it is. They're good in multiplayer for doing a science win on, on defense. Yeah, that's true. That's, that's, that's relatively true. Eight turns on that. I don't really... I mean... I'm just going to do that. I can only buy one ship at a time, unfortunately. But then we can put them on this. It'll be great. So I can't buy more than one because I don't have the uh, harbor. Do I think adding a seven combat modifier for melee troops or air su superiority would make planes relevant? Ooh, that's an interesting thought, Hendu. Um, uh, I don't know. I still think you really have to go out of your way to make it work. And that's, that's, that's the thing that holds it back. It's not that planes aren't good. It's just that it takes too much to get to a point where you have a standing plane army. Let me buy our last one. Okay, that finishes electricity. Uh, this is era score that we don't need. If it weren't for electricity, we'd all... Uh, computers now um will be boosted as soon as we get here actually maybe take our time i'll put in a turn maybe later eminem see ya buddy have a have a lovely day dude I mean, I don't know how much of an army I need against a dude with 254 combat strength. All right, so let's um, let's make sure we're we're maximizing our science. I wonder if I could trade for coal and get an ironclad. Two turns till the era ends. Even though we traded coal away, yeah. Let's see. I want to get all these boosts. I really do. She's not going to trade me. Oh, no. She has two. 14 gold per turn. Do you like silk? No. Tea? No. Okay. 14 gold per turn. I can buy an ironclad. So that gets us our steel boost. As well as an envoy that we wanted. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I could see building this. Save our money, though. I don't want to go below a few thousand gold. I want to be able to buy things. Oh gosh, where are they? Oh my goodness. We're uh 
Oh, Eiffel's gone. Casa's gone. Wow. One, uh, we're actually four over on era score. Pretty crazy that Aerodome's so much worse than the harbor. <laughs> Could make you grant a trade route or give some tourism instead of just the two production. Um, yeah. I mean, that's just the issue is it's, it's, it's a means to an end. Like it's the only way to build air, like, sh like air, airplanes and stuff, but you just really have to go out of your way to make it work. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy that. It's production and uh, allows them to grow. So there goes the rest of my money. Double the yields from trade routes in that city. That'd be interesting too, actually. Like some, some boost to trades. I could see that. That'd be, that, that's a good suggestion. Uh, Pipsley, I'll look after this video for that. And I can help you after this video. Uh, all right. So we did get a golden age. Woohoo. Um, I almost think coinage. Campus districts give you science as well. That's basically two production in my uh, city that matters. I don't really care about that. The tourism is not much of a thing for us either. Uh, yeah. So let's just take some extra gold. Now I don't have to feel so bad about uh, buying stuff. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, um, extract an artifact. That would take some money as well. Because I actually built art museums, I think, instead of an archaeological. Yeah. Get this and then that. But we have democracy now, so that, that's one boost. That gives us something to do. Why does this keep happening? This is super irritating. There we go. Um, oh, good. And that's perfect timing because we get to do this. Awesome. Huge government now. Plus extra food from our ally things. Uh, plenty of housing now in, in our cities. Discount on buying stuff with gold. That's something we're up to as well. Um, I don't think we need New Deal. I don't think that's necessary. I could see the amenity if we need it. I can see running that, which is why I really like Republican Legacy. Although, we could probably take the gold hit and counter it with something else. Nah. Let's see if Republican Legacy does it and put in Triangular Trade. There's some error score as well. Um, tourism guy. A couple ecstatic cities now. Now we get all the way up to 27 population. Oh, we can chop this now. Oh, here I can get an archaeological. And then 1,200 for an archaeologist. All right, cool. That'll give us a boost that we're looking for. So now we can go for computers because we boosted this. And then we just have to get to uh, robotics. Um, five year plan would be nice to run. Let's go unlock communism. It'll reduce two policies into one. Give us some more flexibility, some more gold, maybe. Whatever we want. Whatever we want. Two turns on the moon landing. That's going to give us a nice culture boost. Communism's best. Do you think so, Norm? I, I, I'm, I'm seriously like I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Um, I actually think democracy for our game is still better, just because of the, just because of the, the you don't, we don't, ha we don't need four military policy slots. Um, they can be good, of course, but I 
Democracy isn't an ism. <laughs> That's just true. I mean, I can't even argue with it. All right. I'll say I'm sorry. The class struggle necessarily leads All right, cool. So there's communism. Four more era score for our... That's good. They upped that. It used to be like one, and you're like, why do I only get one era score for going into space? That seems crazy. All right, these will obsolete, I think, after next turn. I don't think the game's recognizing it properly. Uh... What do we want? What do we want? It's more gold. It's fine. <laughs> He's just memeing. These kids today and their memes. All right, so this we're going to have soon. So we might as well save that little bit of science. I know it's not that much. And we can get working on... Oh, I actually need to unlock our other one. Oh my gosh. We went too fast. <laughs> Story of my life. All right. Should, we should have had ro robotics ready to go. I'll just uh, take that time to get a power plant then. Hey, there's our gold. And now we can get our archaeologists. Uh, oh, and these guys can uh, can can do this. Hey, first fleet. There's Era Score. Science tends to be the log jam. I agree. I agree. You can go to space race briefly. With forty-five scientist points per turn. More art. Good trade route. I'm a little nervous about the religious stuff. Nah, guess not. The Cold War is not going. It is burning with a deadly heat. Okay. Culture is progressing quite nicely. There's our combustion boost. Uh, and here we can get a builder. That'll give us some more population here. We're really, really getting into it now. Um, to the point where we are working all of our tiles. So as we add in more citizens now, we have to start borrowing. None of these are in use at the moment. I'll work the food ones. Try to get our growth up. Cool. How's that from Movemba? It's like literally in my my land. Another envoy in Stockholm. Lovely. Oh, man. Look at their borders. They're crazy. Crazy borders. It's ridiculous. NASA spent million. Um, all right. Let's ally with Poland as well. Because I'm running out of uh, Wilhelmina cities to send. So let's ally up. Maybe just economic. Have I done any spying? Uh, just kind of for fun. We're just stealing money. We're just kind of stealing some money. I was I was telling everybody like when you're when you're behind, you definitely have to spy. Uh, but when you're ahead, not as much. Five turns to go. 
Stealing money is fun. I agree. I agree. All right, globalization just right around the corner, honestly. I beheld the rain. Look at us getting getting cultural stuff. Especially the d against DNA AI because they're loaded. Truth. That is a true fact, my friend. A map. No. We shall not do that. What? You shouldn't be behind by the time spies start to appear. That's 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 generally true. That is generally true. Okie dokie. We have two turns until uh, robotics. I don't think that matters. I'll just run a grant. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. Absolutely, no. That this that is that is very cool. true. Oh, barbs. It's not really where I wanted the production to go, but the food is good. Can I always restart the map? Whatever. Doesn't really matter. I'm not really looking to theme and get tourism. Although we have a couple hundred tourism. We are we are well past turn two hundred, is turn two ten. I think for every like four cities beyond eight, you should be shaving like ten to twenty turns off the game. With a science victory. There's another. So we're up to 207 production here. Ernst, ready for a promotion. He's a con artist and an ace driver. I like it. Can I show the victory conditions for the lulls? Sure. Sure. Uh, we are in the lead with score, approaching a thousand. Part of that's all the districts we can get. We're doing quite well, obviously, here. Um, Arabia has rocketry. Could be started on a spaceport. We're actually in the tourism lead. Domination and religion aren't really going anywhere. Here's Arabia. Let's see if he's started anything interesting. Nope. Nice spawn, though. Wow. Look at this city, how defensive this is. That's, that's, that's tough. Eiffel. Really nice spawn, though. So we had a for although next to Scythia, I guess, is a bummer. But got the Matterhorn right there. Nice little, nice little area. All right, here I'm gonna just shift under a turn because I don't feel like doesn't. It won't matter too much. It's just, it's just a couple hundred production. <laughs> can think of a time in history when a bullet had such defense. <laughs> All right, so now we can get six turns on the habitation. And then work our way through hopefully boosted techs. Uh, I guess we'll do con combustion first to see if we can get an oil well. Let's go steal from Cairo now. Oh, there's the spaceport. You just started it. I'll do that to make that food better. Do the same.
And this this is exactly why we chose to do Rear Valley there instead of either of these. I could be helping them grow more with, with some of this flatter land. Um, but just even having this one farming triangle helps them a lot for, for both housing and population. All right, so do we have oil? No. Nope. All right, so we're not getting that boost. Let's see if we have uh, uranium, though. Maybe one of these mines will be uranium. Classical from me. Kidoki. Boo! I still think I have to grab it. Cause I don't I don't think we ever get to the next one otherwise. Enjoy your pretty city. <laughs> Doesn't matter at all. The most useless. Some engineers are good and some are just depending on the game you're playing. What I would what I would refer to as a bummer. Better to fight for something than live. We do have uranium. Whoa! We have a uranium farm. And a uranium lumber mill too. How about it? Some engineers passed on extra credit. Uh so this never gets boosted. Basically going here first. So two power plants. Uh, fission, I don't think we're boosting. Nope, nope, nope. Unless we get a scientist for it. Here's Mary Leakey. Again, I think we grab it. Points will apply as a discount. So we'll save 500 points. And then he'll be 1,000 away from getting it. So yeah, no. We'll just grab Mary Leakey. Let Arabia have the next one. Okie dokie. Tamako. <laughs> I think I only watched that movie once. Oh my god. Really? We gotta deal with a war now? You're gonna give me religious art for amenities. Yeah, let's do it. Congo, I, seriously, I'm tired of your nonsense. You don't even have an army. He just hates me. Untutored courage. He just hates, like, he does nothing. He has nothing. And I have everything. At least we can kill his apostles. Christo. There goes the habitation. Congo sad he didn't kill me in the beginning. Truth. A good plan violently executed right now is far better. Four more era score for that. That's good. I'm glad they tweaked those numbers. Um, now we have nothing to do, really. I mean, we can create some units if we are scared of the Congo. We're not. So we're just going to run some research grants. And again, you could just sit here and stockpile production. We could stockpile 226 production per turn. But I don't think we need to cheese it like that. So we have two, six... 11 turns. Atomic Rimf This is actually would have been a good one. Maybe we should have passed Mary Leakey? I don't know.
How do you stockpile production? Shift enter just skips your turn. And then any production, if you if you don't have something assigned, um, that that production will just save up and stockpile. Yep, you just create overflow essentially. So like you just we would we would take this two hundred production and it would apply to nothing. So in four turns we'd have a sa a thousand production sh uh, saved up, and this project is only eighteen hundred. So by the time we got there, we could basically one turn it. But it's so cheesy. We could do it with overflow. I don't think I'm opposed to that. Like starting to crank out some builders and doing it the old fashioned way. Maybe we'll do that. Or scouts? No, we're probably on rangers now. Yeah, no scout overflow for us. Let's see how much builders are. Builders are 206. We could, uh, could bring in the 30% production and do it this way. Oh, we should also get our last building, I suppose. Because this will allow us to use our builders the way that the game intends it. Versus the cheese that we're going to do. So, okay, so we have a... Um, we're going to bring in public works for production. Get rid of Merchant Confederation. So we have 30% extra production on top of the 226 that we're doing here. Um, so what? 60, 280-ish. So we're saving about 100 production per turn. But we're doing it the legitimate way. We're actually producing something. Um, otherwise, you could just shift enter and save all of it. But then we can turn around and use our builders uh, with our Royal Society and complete. Get, get a little bonus. You're better off just skipping your turns. But I don't like to be that cheesy. Hey, Jeb. How you doing, buddy? So this guy can start to hang out here. I actually don't... Oh, alliance level increase. I actually don't want to turn this into a mine yet. Not until we're using all of our other mines, uh, and then we can get rid of the food. Uh, sure. Let's do it. He wants a doubloon. No doubloon for you. My doubloon. Friendship expired. Friendship. Friendship. Why was that? Why was? Why did? Why did Mortal Kombat say it like that? It's weird. He didn't. He didn't like it. It's like you guys should be fighting. Nope, wrong one. Um, three envoys. Sure, Babylon. Boost up our uh, universities. Like, you're surprised you didn't rip the guy's head off. Yeah, I guess that is just it, huh? Now, be careful because the cost of builders does increase every time you get one. So we can definitely get to a point where we're not actually stockpiling any production. Is Congo going to ever invade? Probably not. He doesn't have an army. I, I don't understand the declaration of war. Come on, man. He doesn't like me. I asked the wrong way. What did I ask the wrong way? Oh, I asked him for friendship the wrong way? Probably. <laughs> He's not into it. Neutralizing the governor here, that's no problem. We just want Pingala. I'm a big laser believer. I really think they are the wave of the future. <laughs> 200 and so, yeah, this is a pretty slow space race, all things considered. Um, two joy so we're still stockpiling a little bit. And you can start to watch your other things to see how much you're saving up. So we can two turn a Venetian, meaning we have maybe s almost 700 production stockpiled. The actual way, though, not the cheesy way. I'm actually going to go ahead and get some farms. Oh, that one didn't matter. This one does, though. 
I'll have more than enough, so kind of makes sense. And then four turns. So we'll start off with about a thousand production uh, in the, into the reactor. That's just for that, I believe. Great person. Uh, sure. That's the one we want. Okay, rainforests. We have a couple. Where's Brazil? This is pretty darn good. It's all but one. I'll take it. That'll be plenty. It's only five turns away, too, so that's perfect. Sure. Sure. We'll probably wind up going over time on this video a little bit, but we're, we're right around the corner from actually winning. Hey, Arabia likes me. <laughs> I don't know what that yawn was from. I'm not tired. Uh, so, yeah. So, oh, we're still just two turning the Venetian. We're only saving about 60 production per turn now. It's it's stocking up fairly slowly. There you go. That's a six food farm. And we are missing out on one, two mines. We could, we could flip it back, but we might as well grow in two turns. Two turns on that. It's perfect. And then two turns on this. Perfect. You can only do the builder expenditure once per turn. I know, you guys, I know. Building something you don't want that costs almost nothing, stockpiling the rest, not cheesy. Building something you don't want and stockpiling everything, cheesy. It's true. It's true. You guys see the difference. Hey, amenities. Do we need them? Yeah, sure. One last builder. That's why you buy spaceports in cities full of forests. Yeah, that's true. You could you could just buy your spaceports and chop them. I'm yet to do that strategy. I don't want to trade my coal again. Oh, we have three now. Well, whatever. Whatever. We're going to space. Who cares? So now we only have four turns on this reactor. So we can see exactly how much uh, how much we saved up. So that's that's a little bit. So we, yeah, about a thousand plus whatever we got out of that builder. Now we go this way. Could build a second aerodome real fast, maybe. Oh, it has to be on flat land. Four turns. That'll save us a tiny bit of science, because this one we won't boost, but then this one we will. Own three tanks. Own three tanks. I can't do that, because guess what? Oil. Neutralized. That's fine. I don't really need anything else here. And I know my alliances are, or my friendships are expiring. That's all right. We're almost, we're, we're going to blow this popsicle stand. We're shuffling off this mortal coil and onto one that's in space. No, you chopped it, you dick. 
it's still it's still probably as good as we're gonna get he just chopped this i wanted that you like saw me coming like no science for you nothing on this earth lasts <laughs> oh this isn't gonna get boosted now because i should have done that more carefully oh well oh well we won't even get this one. Yeah, and that was the complaint, is that these guys, the, the ones that you really want for this base race, are uh, pretty late. Pretty late in the game. Does that mean I'm going to play Beyond Earth? No. No, I'm afraid not. One day there will be no borders, no boundaries. Cool. Globalization. We can add even a little bit more production with e-commerce. This one we're done with. So we got up to 245 production here. Six turns, we'll have a slightly higher. Not bad. What did I say? 245? Yeah, so two, 250, basically. Yeah, 250. Pretty good. 250 production. Oh, and even more. 250, 260 now. So 271. Oh, almost got to that 300. Almost got to that 300 mark. Are we missing a trade route? No. Oh, stop it, Congo. <laughs> Stump. Oh, yeah, and uranium's there, too. That's a good point. Bye, reactor. Shink. <laughs> There's so much plastic in this culture. That vinyl leopard skin is becoming an endangered synthetic. <laughs> we got a great general. How about it? Districts in this tile gain one air unit slot. <laughs> cool. Os seus melhores engenheiros e arquitetos seriam mais felizes em um lugar onde pudessem crescer. Yep. No Brasil, for example. <laughs> All right, so we are 10 turns from nanotechnology. We don't have aluminum. So there's no aluminum mine. I'm going to go ahead and keep growing here. Nah. I don't think it'll change too much. All right, here's our other trade route. Let's see if we can get to that 300 mark. You could do it with buildings, probably. Probably do it with buildings. Hey, we can get tourism out of our industrial zones. And this is definitely where you should be stockpiling your production. Like the next 10 turns of production here would give us uh, several thousand and we'd be able to one turn our hydroponics. But once again, that's super cheesy. Super, super cheesy. I just want to see if we can get to 300 production, dang it. Plant woods on the farms. Um, 
just for for another couple production, maybe. Maybe. We're really close. What? Oh, <laughs> lame. There you go, Atusa. What's the best rear production we've ever had? Um, I don't remember exactly. 300 plus. I want to say I want to say our um, sub 200 space race with Poland got us to like around 350. I might be misremembering that. You should get them for me too, William Aira. I let's go to Chipotle. <laughs> I could go for some lunch. All right, so is that our final population for production here? And then the airport, just around 300. <laughs> 25 population. Oh, there you go, Maggie. Uh, 286, we're going to add in a little bit more here. What tiles are we not working? I mean, we have specialist slots for another six. Yep. Just shy. Just shy. Do we not have... No, they have all my trade routes. Yep, so just more cities would have helped or the, or the right great people. Coming up just shy of the 300 production. Oh, I don't know where to put this. So about a 250-ish turn. I know we are over on time, but we're really close to just ending this up. I'm not going to I'm not going to make a 10-minute video of us just winning. <laughs> we're really close. So this one will be a little bit long for you YouTube, sorry. My apologies. Build them aluminum mine I'd like to. I would like to. So 287 is where we wound up. Four turns on nanotechnology, and then, yeah, just enough turns to build it. So definitely sub 250, but that's not, not super impressive. Still fun, though. Still fun to get in our first space race. And we've got Gandhi next. Gandhi. What are we going to do with him? Is there aluminum Frankfurt? Where? If winning isn't everything. Oh, damn, there is. Oh. I didn't even see that. I didn't think that was mine. Huh. I totally missed it. And by the time we get there, it won't matter. So, good eyes, but I'm dumb, and I missed it. So I'm sorry. I've let you down. As an act of contrition, I'll win this game, and then play another one. That's okay. Two turn difference. What's been my fastest science post expansion? Are we even close to sub 200? I actually, I, I've been doing a bad job keeping up with my stuff, with my um, spreadsheets. Uh, next turn we get to start.
Gandhi is next. Gandhi is next. Come on, Google. Hello? Computer? Mm. No! That was mean. They just neutralized Pingala. If technology is the engine of change. Oh, that means I can't use my builders. God dang it. That was mean. Now we just have to wait all six turns like a like a idiot. That was actually mean AI. Boo. My uh, Google won't load. What is going on here? There we go. Nope. I don't know what my fastest space race is now. Because <laughs> I can't open my spreadsheet. No spies in defense? I Yeah, it's I definitely brave on my part. <laughs> Kind of foolish, perhaps. Neutralizing the governor not as bad as as, as doing the spaceport, so. Yep, we did Persia, we did theater square uh theater square list culture. Oh that's right, it doesn't come from Pingala, does it? It's but it's the thirty percent that we miss out on. Wait a minute. No, wait, what? I thought you were right. Royal Society. Builders gain the ability to use all of their charges to provide bonus on district projects once per turn. This should count. There it is. So it saves a little time. You're right. That is from the uh, governor and not the... Pierre was right. Or not from the governor. It's from the government building, not the governor. It's just whatever. Go sleep. Still, though, right around the corner. Probably like 245. Yeah, alliance is breaking. It's, it's cool. It's cool. You come at me. The issue here is I, I lost my uh, housing. Just a bit of a bummer. Two turns left, so next turn maybe we finish. All the girls in the world. Haha. -ha. Victory progress for those interested. Uh we fell behind in score. We are obviously super good there. We are in the lead for culture. Yeah. Best Hansa was in the capital. We didn't get that good of Hansas this time. Uh, but this was uh, two, four, six from commercial hubs, seven from the government, and then uh, eight, nine from others adjacencies. So it's just a plus nine. Although I think it counted one of our resources here. So I think it is a plus 10. So long, Earth. We had a good run. Oh, if you need us, we'll be on Mars. There you have it. Huzzah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for watching. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully enjoyed the gameplay. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.